Uh, here's the last three hours of the radar time lapsing through. You can watch the lightning bolts. That's in Racine and Kenosha County up around Fond du Lac County and the new area coming in uh, just north of Dane County and Columbia County. So again, scattered showers through the nighttime hours. I'll stop the radar for you. Still have some rain sitting right over areas of Walworth County and Kenosha County. Scattered showers across Waukesha and then in to Jefferson County, Dodge County. You're going to see this area or a little cluster of thunderstorms rolling through, and that will roll to the east northeast, clipping Fond du Lac County. Also, still a lot of showers uh, from southern Washington all the way up into Ozaki County. And you can see we're missing one area of rain that really diminished in energy. The energy is robbed and out here across Iowa right now, and that's closer to the low pressure system. And that area of storms will make it into Wisconsin about three or four o'clock in the morning as it rides along this warm front, but with the cooler air to the north, it's going to dissipate or at least weaken somewhat as it moves in, but you'll still hear some rumbles of thunder overnight tonight. Look at these high temperatures today. 61 in Milwaukee, 50 West Bend, 45 Sheboygan, so you could almost paint in the warm front, and right now it's cooling down where those winds continue to be east or northeast off Lake Michigan, right where the warm front is located. There's those wind speeds, 9 miles per hour northeast in Sheboygan, so if you're north, you're going to see the cooler air. If you're south, you're going to see warm air all through the nighttime hours. There's a warm front as it sits on our computer models. Now, notice around 4, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's that dying line of thunderstorms out of Iowa. Maybe a little break for your commute in the morning. More scattered showers and isolated storms uh, in the afternoon tomorrow and then evening showers still around. Here comes a cold front, and by Friday, that colder air starts to push in. With again, a shower could even mix with a little bit of snow and the cold air sticks around right on into the weekend. So for tonight, 52 is your overnight low, except to the north, Fond du Lac, Sheboygan County, you're in the 40s, southwest winds, and uh, as I said, a very mild overnight low of 52 degrees. For tomorrow, we start out in the mid-50s, scattered showers and still an isolated thunderstorm possible. Temperatures start to fall later in the afternoon through the 40s. And then the temperatures stay in the 40s for Friday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, still could see a rain or snow shower. Watch the cold air sticking around for the upcoming weekend Saturday. Maybe a few flurries around 40 degrees. Sunny, but 41 on Sunday. Opening day doesn't look good right now. Cloudy with maybe a rain snow shower. 38 degrees, and we're back in the 40s for the rest of next week.